I start I deliver my argument, I will uh, deliver the definition of the developing countries itself. Developing countries itself is a uh, uh, kind of countries that uh, has uh, have ca characteristic like countries that have a high level of population density. And, and the foreign component itself is kind of in a different countries is the set of companies that operate or invest directly and indirectly in some of uh, developing countries, like Indonesia maybe. And then foreign companies that is kind of representative offices and then foreign trade representative offices and and there's a foreign news agencies incorporated in developing countries. And, and next is, I want to tell you about the step itself, why developing countries need foreign companies. I mean, here's the mechanism that many foreign uh, companies today want to impress or build their, their, what is it, our friends, their branches in development countries, and they think that in developing countries is a strategic uh, place to operate because they need um, a lot of workers. And then usually in developing countries, it's a country that has a high level of population density, and therefore foreign companies are eager to operate in developing countries. They want to large human resources coming from developing countries that become their territory here. And then, so the foreign companies can also be used to meet the minimum quota of the uh, regarding, uh, what is it, a requirement of local workers because the foreign countries itself will tend, will tend to look for local workers in, the ter in their the territory of developing countries and for the mechanism itself foreign companies uh, do not know their territory because they need other where is it, other parties in the their, in the developing countries territory in the territory of the developing, com developing countries and to assist them in uh, in the creating some new employees and the mechanism of this policy is that uh, when the foreign companies needs to need uh, needs more employees, they simply they simply just contact the local the local labor service provider, and and where we have uh, where we have to choose foreign companies, as we know that the foreign companies uh, is uh, kind of for farmers in low and middle income countries have uh, several features that set them apart. I mean from the smaller competitors like the local companies itself. And this chapter systematically examines the distinct features that they are uh, what is it, uh, closely associated with their productivity and then the advantage over smaller firms or or we can call it the local companies. And their ability, I mean the I mean the uh, foreign companies, their the ability to lower the cost of production through the economies of scale and scope, but also to invest in quality and access demand. And foreign companies uh, frequently push better management and organization of production, as well as seeking outwards orientation and then innovation and investment in human capital. And this translates into better outcomes that for their owners and also for their workers and for the smaller enterprises in their value choice chains. And the foreign companies itself ultimately represent vehicles of chain and driving a substantial uh, share of aggregate uh, economic activity in low and middle income country, countries, and um, and then I I have to uh, deliver the status quo why where we need the where we need this policy this kind of policy that uh, this, uh, 
that makes foreign companies that make foreign foreign companies have to to allow to make this kind of limitation for the uh, requirement local local employees why why we need this kind of policy because the government in itself I mean in the developing countries just uh, usually they just concern to the investment rather than um, rather than using the local residents to become employees of the company and so that with this kind of policy in addition to helping local residents to find the work it also has the government in managing the potential of the local population and here's my argument and here's my argumentation uh, the first is with, uh, the first is the foreign companies make a profit so when the government of a developing country implements this policy the company's policy is to meet the minimum quota of recruiting in recruiting local complex uh, local employees that in fact the party who benefits is not only the developing country itself but when foreign companies have to allow this kind of policy the foreign companies do not have to vote or to find employees again i mean the foreign companies only need to empower local employees who are around who are around their company or in the territory of the developing country for example a foreign company that has just established a branch in a area in developing countries then then because the company has just opened in the branch they need the uh, minimum of employee and and for the substance of this policy from uh, from the developing countries government of course the company needs the company needs more effort to announce that they are in its employees on the other hand and when a foreign companies must follow a minimum recruitment policy for local employers the foreign company only needs to contact the local employee services provider in territory